what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today today guys we have episode number one of the next gen ac milan career mode in fifa 21 now obviously i know people are going to be a bit confused as to why um i've uploaded this now as a new series and completely ended the napoli series unfortunately when i updated the ps5 version of fifa 21 on thursday uh, when they released it um pro clubs data and save files of career mode don't carry over into the new version so i've essentially uh, lost the napoli career mode and my career mode that was on my stream um so I, I had to start again i did put a poll up and a few of you did suggest ac milan and that's who we're going with today now again i am sorry that i have to start a new career mode but i just can't get the napoli one back uh with transferring over to the new next gen um fifa 21 so with that being said we are starting a new career mode today anyway before we do get into the video if you could leave a like on the video that would be greatly appreciated make sure to subscribe if you're new around here and let me know down below as it is a new career mode transfer suggestions in the comment section uh once i get through into the squad see who we've got in the team uh then i'll give you my thoughts on what position to suggest and also if you haven't already, make sure to go into the description now to follow my Twitch channel and my Twitter because I have been live streaming every day doing career mode video, uh, career mode streams. Uh, we started a journeyman save with AZ Outmar. So if you want to come and watch me live, then uh, yeah, make sure to follow the Twitch, which will be down in the description. And also make sure to follow me on Twitter, which will also be in the description so you'll know when I'm going live, when I'm uploading videos and just general Twitter stuff. Anyway. Let's jump into the career mode now. I'm just going to keep... I'm going to go with this guy. Why not? Anyway, we're going to change that to the standard uh, standard name, which we always use. Mr. Basil. Do that. Advance. I'm just going to keep the guys it is. And we're not going to be going to Chelsea today. We're going to be going over to the Italian League and revitalizing AC Milan as they are in real life at the moment. They are really um, picking up the pace in real life. Um, we are gonna play on Ultimate now. Now obviously I started the Napoli one on uh, Legendary, but on stream I've been playing on Ultimate with a competitor mode on and it's much more difficult, uh, but I feel like I am uh, good enough to actually uh, carry on with that. So let me just make sure the groups are correct for the Europa League. I do believe AC Milan are in the Europa League. Uh, obviously, there's so many groups in this uh, competition. Where are a Milan? Like, hello? Am I missing them right now? Have I gone past them? Um. Uh, am I missing something here? Why are Newcastle in here? Uh, what group are they in in real life? This is not right at all. This is incorrect. Why have they not got the correct... That's so annoying, man. Why have they not got the correct uh, thing? Um, let me edit the groups. Let me just whack Milan into one of the um, one of the groups. Now, I know Newcastle are definitely not in it, but I don't want to just go straight into that group. Uh, let me have a little look. What groups... Because that group seems a bit easy, you know? But I think that's going to... Yeah, Newcastle aren't in here. Like, I don't get why we're not in here, because Ace Milan are in the group in real life Do not add more clubs from the same nation to this competition oh so i have to change it with a team in oh that's because napoli are in that group all right i need to go find a team in the syria then oh god this is stressful i didn't know this was gonna have to happen so i basically have to get rid of napoli what the hell oh roma oh but then roma are actually in the europa league to a Napoli. I don't get it. Um, why might as well just get rid of like this team and go back to me? Because obviously, I don't know why they've not put this. This is really bad from EA. Yeah, so I have to literally get rid of either Napoli or Roma. Um, I'm going to get rid of Roma because Milan are in the Europa League. I don't get why that's not a thing. Anyway, that's going to be the first bit done. Uh, we're going to load up now and I will get back into you guys with the squad once I see the team and stuff like that and all the objectives. So I will be right back. 
Right then guys, first thing to do is pick the preseason tournament. Now, I know European International Cup is the one with the most money. Uh, and the, this one's got a little bit less and so does that one. But I'm going to go with this one purely based off the fact that it's got more money. And we're going to start off by going straight to the uh, objectives and stuff like that. I want to get rid of... Oh, Youth Academy. Now, we should get one really good one. Oh my god, 17... Five star skill was four star weak foot, 71 overall. Martinelli, imagine him and Tonali playing in the midfield together. Um, well, he's well, quickly just do his development plan because I think I'm gonna go for a ball. I kind of want to put him into a center mid. Well, wow, putting him into a center mid, is, or is he already a center mid? Oh, he already is a center mid. I thought it's a CDM. Um, let's go ball winning midfielder. Uh, do that and then I'm going to sign him straight up uh, these guys unfortunately uh, are going to get released just because they don't look very good compared to the other guy so let me just go down here I, I don't need to read all that you know all of you guys read that or see that in every career mode you do um, so yeah let's go into the objectives uh, or the board um, overview so they want us to win the <laughs> win the Europa League finish in the Champions League's place and reach the quarterfinal of the Coppa Italia um, within two seasons, have at least one player from the youth academy sign in the first season. Let at least first, well, that, that's easy because I can get this done now because I just signed that, uh, promoted that youngster. But sign one veteran player, get a streak of five games without defeat this season. Okay, that's not too bad. A, a veteran player is easy. That's what someone over the age of thirty. Uh, I can just get that as a bench player. Obviously, win the Europa League, quarterfinals, Champions League place, and within two seasons, grow whatever. Anyway. Let's move on to the actual team. Now, I like this. I like this a lot. I like how this team's set up. Now, straight off the bat, looking at this, right, right mid straight away. Hog. This is the new Danish player they've signed. So, Tonali's in the team. Tonali's going to go straight in the team for me. I don't know who this is. If I'm being totally honest. He's 18, though, to be fair. Uh, Kese, he's very good, though. I don't really want to get rid of him. Um... Rafael Leal, he's probably going to... See, we could really do with a new striker. But I don't want to take Ibra out. Why is Kalanoglu... I thought he's a left mid. Hmm, so we kind of need a left mid, if I'm being honest. Because Rebic will go to the bench. We kind of need a left mid. So, in terms of goalkeeper, it's fine. Fio Hernandez will stay. Romagnoli will stay. Um, could we do with a new centre-back here? 31 years old. Now we could, we, at new centre back, right back, any, um, so he's going to come onto the bench. And we're going to take Castillo off, Castillo off for, where is he? Yeah, this guy. Aldini's there as well, is that um, the son of Maldini? Paolo Maldini, I think it is. Anyway, let me just put him on the bench as well then. And he's only really young. So yeah, straight away. It's got to be a new right mid, a new centre back, and a new left mid, most likely. Um, I really want to put this Martinelli in straight away, but Kiese is very good. Um, he is very good, which is kind of annoying. We kind of need to put Martinelli as a CDM. So, I can Callum is fine. Ebra's fine. I know he's very old and he's slow, which is why at least we got Rebic on the bench. So, straight off the bat, guys, make sure you put your transfer suggestions in the comments. A left mid, a right mid, a centre back. And we could probably do with a right back if I'm gonna if I have enough money. Might have to loan someone in um to do that. I need to put him as a CDM though, that's the only problem. I put centre mid. Oh no, there you go, that's fine. Uh yeah. So there you go, that's fine. So I'm gonna do it like that. I know Kiese is very good, but this Martinelli is like what, he just got him from just got him from the youth setup. 17 five star skills, four star weak foot. Unbelievable. So yeah, centre back. I'm gonna do my own research for a centre back, right mid, right back, left wing. Potentially a striker as well, guys, just because of the fact that um we uh oh, we got a couple of right backs on the bench and a centre back there. Which is kind of yeah, we kind of do have the players, but again, I kind of just want to get better players. We don't have much money. Uh, we just go and double check the price of the club. 33 million. Eh, that's actually not too bad, but it's just like trying to sign the big big boy players. Um, so I'm thinking in terms of centre back, we get in a, an older player to get that veteran thing done. Uh, but let me guys know down below in the comment sections. 
What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go off and scout some players myself and put some players in the shortlist. And I'll also go through the training. Uh, I'll do that off camera because I'll just do one, one of them and then uh, I will get through the preseason game and then I will probably end the episode as always. I kind of just like to get uh, the first episode out to you guys and then we can just go from there. So what I'm gonna do is go scout some players and I'll be right back. Right then guys, as you can see on the screen, Dortmund have actually offered a 35 million pound transfer fee for Fia Hernandez and I am gonna reject that straight away. He's the best left back at the club and he's gonna be starting. And we also got a message from Romagnoli to greet us to the club. And we'll just say the future is exciting. Now, we need to go up to the preseason games now. Again, did the training thing, uh, got like the A's in the training so I can just sim them now. Um, <clears throat> first game is against Everton in a friendly game. So let's see how the boys get on. We are just gonna let the, oh, Romagnoli, Man United, 50 million. What? Absolutely no chance. 50 million is way too much, uh, way too, well, it's a great offer, but I don't really fancy that. Anyway, Quick Sim is going to be in order today. Who is playing for Everton? Palacio is still Everton. I didn't even realise that. Anyway, simulate the game and it's a 0-0 draw in the first game of the pre-season tournament. Now, the other teams in our group are Real Sociedad and Mujun Gladbach. So, a win here would be good. Um, wow, okay, this is a good offer. Now, I'm going to negotiate and try and get a bit more money for him <clears throat> because... We are looking to get a new centre back. Could we do a player swap? Try to do a player swap. Do I literally just go edit? Let me just try a player swap, literally just for the. No, okay, I didn't think they would. I didn't think they would. So that's fine. Uh, all I, I just want to be cheeky and ask for him. Uh, Hernandez again, Leicester City this time. Reject that one. I don't think I'll have any. There's no price uh, that I would sell him for just because of how influential he is for us and how good he is. Uh, I don't really want to sell him. Freena win for us there. Kalinoglu, Brahim. Uh, oh, Brahim got two. Wow. Okay, that's good. Good to see. Everton won two now, so we need to beat Sociedad to go through, I'm pretty sure. Into the next bit. Because Everton are... Oh no, we just need a point. We just need a point. So, hopefully we can get that. As you can see there, Boateng has gone to Real Madrid in this save. Now, hopefully we can pick up some new players eventually before the season does start. Quicks in this game again. And it's a one all draw, so we do go through Kalanoglu with the goal. Lovely stuff. Anyway, let's jump into the next bit. Tournament prize money. I think it's like a million. Yeah, 1,800. Romagnoli's already got banned. Okay, that's not good. Uh, Man United in the semis now. Let's see. Um, yeah, auto replace just for this match. Uh, let me just do team management because the team looks absolutely shattered. So we're going to change up the team. We're going to literally like, change every position just for this game. Um, let's put you in there as well. Just for this game. Again, it's pre-season. I don't care what the score is. 3-1, uh, we lost, unfortunately. Anyway, so Everton versus United in the final of that. Again, I'm not too worried because it's now time to crack on with the season itself. Now, again, I did put up these uh, position things. So a winger, a centre-back, and a striker, um, just in case I need a backup striker. So Gary Pulista could be a good one. I'm just going to scout loads of players uh, in here and hope for the best. Oyasa could be a good shout as a backup player. I wouldn't mind that. Raul Albiol, again, another just a backup centre-back on the bench could be a good option. He's fairly cheap because, again, we don't have the most money in the world. And all of these release clauses are insane. So I don't know. Wow, Bogus wanted to burn me. Okay, so... Looking at some of these players, there's not really anyone that shouts out to me straight away. So I'm gonna let you guys try and give me some suggestions in the comment section below. And that is gonna do it for the end of the video. It's gonna be a shorter video, um, just because of the fact that I you know I wanna get the video out, get the transfer suggestions flowing, 
and then we can start looking at starting the season. If I go to the calendar quickly, just to double check who we do have first game. So we've got at least two weeks, which is really nice. But we've got more than two weeks. Wow. Okay, so we've got Bologna in the first game of the season. So, like I said, drop me your transfer suggestions down below. A left wing, right wing, centre back. Potentially a new striker because Eva is 38 years old, let's forget. And we are playing FIFA. Anyway, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and follow my Twitch channel so you can see me stream career mode live. Links are down below in the comment section below, uh, in the description below, sorry. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure to do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.